Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome back to this uh, video tutorial. In the last video we were looking at um, the 2015 um, June um, paper 2-1 and we ended on step number 15 and in this video we were supposed to start looking at step number 16. Okay, so step number 16 says that uh, insert a table with three columns and eight rows after the text must have a road license. Okay, so let's go ahead and find that text. So in order to find that text, I'll, I'll minimize my uh, navigation. You can actually go to view and put navigation pane, okay? And type in must have, um, must have, um, I don't know if it's a license or something. Yeah, must have a road. Okay, so you see that that's a text that has come up there. Must have a road, this one here, a road um, license. Okay, alternatively to get the navigation pane, you can just hit Control F on your keyboard, um, hold Control F, uh, Control key, <laughs> hold Control key and hit F uh, button on your keyboard, okay, and that should bring the navigation. So this is how you're going to uh, find some text instead of scrolling uh, through the entire text and looking for just a phrase, okay. So just at the end there, I'm going to press Enter key once so that the table that or whatever I insert on this line should get the formatting of um, the previous um, uh, line. So that means um, uh, the text, whatever I type here, is going to carry the same format that the previous text or the text above it is carrying. So this is very useful, especially if they have told you that um, the text that you're going to type there should have the same format as the body text, okay? So you just put your cursor at the end there and hit enter key on your keyboard and automatically it's going to be given the same property as the text before it, okay? So that is how you're supposed to do that. So what we're going to do is to um, to, to enter or to create a table with uh, three columns and eight rows. Okay, so I'm going to come here and say insert and then table with three columns and eight, um, eight um, rows. So it's a three by eight table and say okay and there you go. So take note of how the table actually fits within the margin. Why? Because the, the, the table takes the format of the previous text, okay? So that is how you can do, um, uh, make sure that your table aligns to the margin that you have there. Perfect, okay? So next that we're going to do is to type in this text now. So um, to, avoid, um, to avoid me going back and forth on this table, what I'm going to do is to um, uh, print some text uh, or print this section of of, um, of the screen so that I can get this okay so just allow me to um, print this okay let me just print it um, so that I'll be looking at this you guys you can look at your question papers um, but I'll be looking at this so that I don't switch in between screens otherwise I'm going to take a lot of time um, to do that I could have also paused the screen um, uh, I mean uh, pause the video rather so that I can um, I can come back after I've done the typing but that's not necessary because there are some things I'd want to show you as I'm typing so that if you encounter them um, you guys you know what to do so I'm going to start with the first one so my printout is already ready so let's go road um, license prices okay license prices okay and um, you have here your freshwater freshwater fish and then here you have um, salmon and sea trout okay um, next you have full season and you have 27 pounds and this one is 72 pounds Next, you have seniors, and then the seniors, it's 18 pounds, and the other one is um, 48 pounds. Then you have juniors, um, not dollars, this is supposed to be pounds, okay. 
then you have juniors are supposed to be um, 12 to 16 okay and next is supposed to be five pounds and the other one's supposed to be five pounds too the next we are supposed to have children under 12 and um, they're supposed to be free and this one is supposed to be free as well next we have eight day then it's supposed to be 10 pounds and this one is supposed to be 23 pounds and lastly we have one day and it's supposed to be three point um, three point let me see it's supposed to be three point seven five seven five and this one is supposed to be um, eight pounds okay so there you go with our table and the information is um, has been put so let's go back now to our question paper if at all I've mistyped anything it is up uh, to you guys to correct that um, but nevertheless I hope I've typed everything correct okay so let's come come back here step 18 format the text in the table as body text so this is what I was talking about that um, there, when you put your cursor at the end there and press enter which means the next of the text that you're going to be typing is actually going to carry the same format as the body text so you notice that your body text is Calibri and it is um, 11 um, the same thing should happen with the text inside the table it is also Calibri and it is 11 okay so that is good so that saves you some mark at all um, it should be one mark then format the top of uh, the top row of the table to be merged and center aligned and bold and underlined okay so come back here make sure that this is um, this is merged okay so my uh, for some reason my um, my right click button is not working so I'll just use um, the menu key on the keyboard and select um, cell, uh, merge cells okay and supposed to be bold and center underlined and center okay so just verify so bold and underlined and merge and center line so that should be fine so step 20 format the second row of the table to be italic um, right aligned and headings dropped so do not allow the words to split okay so I'll tell you what that means so what we need to make sure is that um, this is um, right aligned okay and make sure that it is italic and it should be bold let me just verify um, okay not bold but it should be italic right aligned and headings wrapped okay so headings wrapped so let's just remove the bold feature headings wrapped means that um, some text will continue on the next line now you guys you should be very careful um, when you take this part here when you do text wrapping um, they've said that the text um, for the word should not split and for example fresh water should not continue on the next line okay uh, it should be you shouldn't have fresh on one line and water on the next line okay so separate words are allowed to wrap but um, one word should not wrap onto the next line okay so that should be perfectly fine and um, next step 21 okay so step 21 says format rows 3 to 8 so that the data displayed on one line um, or the data is displayed on one line and the numbers are right aligned okay so let's go ahead and do that so rows 3 is this one so you have 1 2 3 and all the rows um, all the way to row 8 they shouldn't uh, be split now don't forget that you have one more row that um, no it's still there okay so what you need to do is to put your cursor at the boundary of either this border or this border and just double click and it should um, actually just this border and it should expand and put it here again double click and it should expand now take note of how just by doing this this table has actually um, moved away from the margin so don't just be in a hurry take note of that the margin that we have for this text is here but take note of how the table has actually protruded and it is now within um, outside the column margin so we're going to work on that the next thing we're supposed to do is to align the numbers right aligned so just align them right like that and that should be perfectly fine so 
if you come back to um, the question here um, step 23 actually asks you to make sure that um, the table actually fits within the column okay so I just wanted to point out I know we haven't done uh, step 22 but I just wanted to point out this now to be on the safe side before you remove even the grid lines you're supposed to make sure that um, the 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 text inside is actually fitting um, that so what I'm going to do is to just drag this drag it a little bit here and try to drag this a little bit there just make sure that it fits the column so as as, as it is right now it is within the column um, for um, that so you see that the table is within the column so what I did is just dragged it to resize it to fit um, the size of um, the column next so done with step um, uh, the next thing we're supposed to do now is to put um, let's see so before I, I, I remove the grid lines I'll do step 23 uh, this part okay so that we see uh, how it's going to look okay so we, we are supposed to insert um, a single line um, um, space b above and below the table so what this means is that when you have um, a you put your cursor at the end there and just put space like that so this is a single line spacing of size 11 points as you can see the cursor is here and it's size 11 points and down here you should also have a single line and you see that it is also 11 points okay so that should be perfectly fine um, let me close just close this okay um, next is um, um, let's see now we can go ahead and do step number 22 and that is to hide the grid lines so to hide the grid lines you select the table and you come um, here on borders and say no border and that should be per perfectly fine it is there's no border there next um, step 24 sort the list of fresh water uh, fish from brim to tench and so it is displayed in alphabetical order so what you need to do is identify that list from brim to tench which is here select it and then under sorting here you need to click there and make sure that you select it's a paragraph which means now the good part is that when you highlight the text um, word automatically will give you the text that has been highlighted and then you can sort it out okay so you are sorting it in ascending order that is from um, alphabet A to Z and just put OK and you see that it has been sorted the B um, then C then E then P then P then R and T and this is an alphabetical order next step um, 25 apply bullet points to this list so just come here and select any bullet points doesn't matter whether they're square or flat or round um, as long as they're bullet um, points okay so that should be fine um, step 26 format the list so that the bullet points are positioned two centimeters from the left margin so what you need to do make sure that the uh, the bullets are selected go to paragraph and under uh, indentation make sure that it is two centimeters okay just put two centimeters let's verify that it is two centimeters okay so two centimeters and say okay so there you go it has been indented two centimeters this is one uh, one is here then uh, well from here to here one from there to there as two so that should be perfectly fine next so um, step 27 replace the word regulations with the word rules wherever it occurs so come here make sure that you uh, unselect this one and type here regulations okay so regulations uh, it shows you that it occurs three times down here and come here and click on replace and then type rules okay rules and click on replace all and you see that word will replace three as we found three regulations there we replace them with three rules okay close and uh, next step is save the document with the same file name and the format used in step three and um, um, that should be perfectly fine so to save just go ahead and just hit on save because we already changed it to the format of word and so it shouldn't be a problem 
So thank you so much. Um, this marks the end of um, uh, document production. And um, in the next video, I'll try to do um, um, step 29, which is data manipulation. And uh, we'll see how far we can go. I'll tr I'm trying to see if I can record these two papers today. And of course, it's a lot of work because I'm still working at work. Um, and um, I just nicked out um, and I have just uh, up to about 5 p.m. or so. And after that, I'll have um, um, some stuff to do uh, at work. Okay, so thank you so much. And I'll see you shortly in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. And um, I'll see you in the next video shortly.